Greetings from the land of OP, I am Rob the OP Gamer, and I am bringing you episode number 7 of my attempt number 5 of my 1.7 Ultra Hardcore series. Hope everybody enjoyed me not zooming straight into my crotch. Fuck it! Nah. Uh, so today, I'm going to capitalize on some shit that I did last episode. Uh, last episode, I managed to kill the wither, and uh, had all these potions going on, made a few more off camera, and I actually went and killed him several more times. So, uh, that wither box works out really good, smacking him in that wither dick of his that dangles down. Uh, where did I put, see, got eight wither stars and a bunch of yellow hearts, got a bunch of, uh, inactive division sigils going on. So I think it's time to, uh, go activate one of these motherfuckers. So, I uh, got everything I'm gonna need here to, uh, get some stuff going on. So first and foremost, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make myself, uh, an altar. Or not an altar, excuse me. It's 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 an altar for the purposes of activating the division sigil, but it's actually just an enchanting table, and I don't have one of those yet. I could use one, so might as well have one if I'm going to have one. And I'm going to get uh, eight redstone, and we are going to go out to this lovely, lovely, fantastic, phenomenal, amazing, um, intricately crafted by hand uh, box that I made out here. <laughs> This thing basically isn't going to do us a whole lot of anything, except for the fact that uh, it's uh, where I'm going to activate this thing. And I'm looking forward to doing that because I need it for a few different things. It's a couple different reasons. Uh, I made it this big because when you activate this thing, you get cursed earth on the ground and it blows up everything and monsters spawn everywhere. I want some of that cursed earth, but I need a way to deal with the monsters. And that pig is kind of being an asshole. What's up, asshole pig? I didn't open that up for you. Let's get our lasso out here. We'll get rid of him really quick. Uh, I basically made made this box off camera uh, before starting to record the episode because I wanted to be ready to activate the thing and I want to be able to handle the monsters. Uh, in a previous episode of my in a previous attempt of my hardcore series, I got killed activating a division sigil, and it was not a good time. And what I want to do is set up a way where I won't get killed this time. So, in preparation for that, I have come up with a few different ideas for things. And here's what I'm going to do. Um, I've got a few things in my inventory for crafting materials. And you might be like, what's those about? Well, I'll show you what those are about. We are going to come in here. I'm going to do a couple things with these. Uh, we're going to make a couple of machine bases. And you might... Oh, no. That's something else that you might that you can't see there, so that's cool. Um, need 12 of these guys, so we're gonna go ahead and craft these up really quick. And while those are cooking up, uh, let's see what else do we got. We're gonna make ourselves some grinders from uh, grinder. There we go from Mine Factory Reloaded. Uh, sword, some books, some pistons, and some machine frames. Why look what I got in my inventory. Uh, so we just got to make these into rubber. And then we'll be able to make our machine frames. Does that take any additional rubber? Yeah, at the top. So I'm going to need actually 12 more of those. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And we'll go ahead and throw these guys in here as well. And we'll get these cooking up. And so what I'm going to do, <coughs> I counted the cursed earth. I went back and looked at one of my old videos. And I counted how much cursed earth it made into radius when you activate the division sigil from the point of the... Um, alter to see exactly. Did I have one in here too? Was that a thing? Yeah, that was a thing. I'll put these all together. I got one out of a dungeon chest too, so I was pretty happy when it happened. But now I got a bunch of them from killing that wither so many times. Uh, basically, we are going to take, a, take some precautions here. And I, when I went back and counted how much cursed earth it made, it was about a 7 radius out from the... Um, was about a seven radius out from the center where the um, I keep wanting to say altar. God damn it, enchanting table was. And so what I'm going to try to do is I made that box able to encompass it so that when the monsters spawn, they'll be trapped in that box. They won't be able to run all over the place. Trying to chew off my nipples because that's a bad time. Oh man, I feel shitty. I got sick. My game is all thrown off. Sour about that. Uh, so we're going to put some books here. What was it? I'll just shift question mark. Oh, we can't. We gotta put the sword in the middle. Uh, piston on one side. I think books on the other. There we go. Frames and plastic. Is that? Yep, sweet. Uh, so we'll get one of these going on. And I'm gonna make a few of these grinders. 
like so. And I'll put these uh, these frames away because we'll use those later for something. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come out here and we're going to place these around so that when mobs spawn, the grinders will take care of them for me. Uh, also, I managed to upgrade one of my my excavator with uh, silky touch on it so I can uh, harvest the ground as it comes up. So we're going to go ahead and get that taken care of here in a second. I'm thinking we're going to place them around. It's going to go seven out. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. These guys can reach out about five spaces. Two, three, four, five. Want them to be able to reach out most ways. So I'm going to put them right up against here. Although apparently I'm going to have to stand right here because they face the opposite direction. I don't know why they didn't stack. I've been running into that bug a lot lately where I go to place something down and doesn't stack with itself. I think it's just some weird metadata thing, but I don't know for sure. Uh, so we're just going to go ahead and place these all the way around. They'll be, they won't be able to reach everything, but at least it'll give me some coverage here is kind of what I'm, what I'm aiming for with regards to that. So, and then the last thing we're going to do, which I didn't actually prepare for, which I need to go do, which I'm going to go do off camera here with a quick cut in a second, is I'm going to set these up so that uh, I've got tanks to catch any of the uh, mob essence that comes out, because I do want to save that as well. So this is just going to be a really elaborate way to take care of the monsters that spawn on the Cursed Earth. Uh, it may or may not work. I think it'll work. Uh, so give me a few minutes, guys, to get some power strung out here. I'll be back in a second. So what I did was I put chests behind each one of these guys to catch any mob drops because, of course, I want all the loots forever. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to string some cables in here. I'm not going to dig underground. Normally I would dig underground, but if you dig underground, you're going to have a bad time because the cursed earth doesn't just go on surface level. It goes underground as well. Had that happen in a build spotlight once, it was kind of, it was kind of messy. So I'm going to set this up in such a way that everything is kind of above it. okay? And the way that's going to work out is, actually, I don't know for sure if these guys can output directly into an ender pipe or not, or into one of these conduits or not, ender IO conduits. Um, so, hmm, that might be a good test. Let's try that out really quick. I have a, uh, <clears throat> a transmitter here, which is going to bring power in for us from the base. Let's grab one of these guys, and let's grab a, grab a chest really quick here. Actually, you know what? I don't even need to remove this. I can just go grab that pig really quick. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this chest real quick right here. And we're just going to grab our conduits. And I'm going to do one of these. And that's output and that's input. Now it's input. So now, in theory, we should be able to see if we grind a pig up, it should pop into this guy. Because if that's the case, then I can just run everything to the back of these and not have to worry about people climbing up on top of these, uh, on top of these things. So let's go ahead and grab our pig really quick here. I probably shouldn't actually put those out in front so much. Mobs will get trapped in the sides of these things. They can only put in front of them. But, you know, we'll see what happens. I'll recess them in the glass in a minute here. Uh, let's go ahead and get this thing some power going on. And that's just going to be a matter of doing one of these. Should be a matter of doing one of these. Uh, frequency. Oh, that's a transmitter. Where's my receivers? Why do I have three transmitters and no receivers in here? Hang on, let me figure that out, guys. God, these king slimes sure happen a lot. I was I went and located my receivers and uh, came back outside, and a king slime had spawned. Uh, these guys don't hurt too bad if you're careful about them, but they can hurt, so be careful about them, like that. <laughs> ah! Uh, but they sure seem to spawn a lot. Oh well, more yellow hearts for me. Another sign apparently. So went ahead and got my transmitter. We're gonna go ahead and grab. Uh, let's see. I got shit in my inventory. I don't want to have my inventory. Fuck. Oh well. Uh, where did... Oh, okay. So we're going to go ahead and grab this, and I'm going to drop one of these in here for just a brief moment. Should get us some power, and that's really all I need, so I don't want to get too much power in this guy. And I'm going to drop a pig right in front of him, and he should grind up the pig. Bam! Uh, so that's a thing that happened. That was good. And let's see if the item... Yep, landed in the chest. Fantastic. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and... String everything outside of the chests. Uh, I'm going to do one of these, I think. Let's put these away for a moment. And then I can move this chest. And I'm going to bring the chest. 
I actually have to go, go remove all three of these chests now because I made a chest for each one and I guess I don't need to do that. So I'm just going to go ahead and leave this guy right there. And the item ducks will go out and we are going to wrench in that way. That way each one of these that drops something is going to be able to um, be moved out. And I'm going to move that in like this so it's, it's flush with the wall. And then we'll do that. He's only going to be able to reach out five though, which is my only concern. One, two, three, four, five. So he can't quite reach the altar. Um, so the mobs as they come around me are going to have to sort of, I'm going to have to kite them a little bit. But that's alright, it's not that big a deal. At least I got something in place. Oh, he kept his power, that's cute. Uh, so we're going to do that, and I'm going to set up a tank like this. Uh, let's go with right here. I'll have both tanks in case it's needed. And I will be able to fluid duct. Um, didn't need that fluid duct right there. Whoops, there we go. Hey, come on. What the shit? Wrench, you son of a bitch. There we go. Uh, actually, I did need that fluid duct right there, so that was cute. Uh, there. Oh, he connected with mob essence. Fuck. I think if you right-click, it'll... Like, shift right-click and it removes, but if you just right-click, it should... No? No? What the fuck? Well, I guess we're wasting that one. Oh, well, whatever. Um, does he got any more in him? No? Okay, cool. Item. There we go. Uh, fluid. There we go. Oh, fuck Blood Moon. God damn it. Son of a bitch. Fucking right as I'm trying to do... Every time I'm trying to do something, fucking Blood Moon. Fucking god shit. Damn hell. Fuck. Ah, oh, god, that's annoying as shit. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Blood Moon is kind of like, if anybody's played Terraria, it's kind of a similar thing. Mo mobs just spawn constantly for eons straight. Like, you can't do anything about it. There's just millions of mobs out there. And it's a, pa it's a pain in the ass. It always happens when I'm trying to do shit. That's the thing that annoys me the most. It always happens right as I'm trying to actively accomplish something outside. Fucking God. Uh, well, I guess I'll be back, guys, as soon as this Blood Moon wears out. Fuck. Well, that was annoying as fuck. The daylight spawned, and I came outside to try to figure things out. Of course, there were monsters everywhere, and fucking creepers everywhere, and there was a fucking witch, and she poisoned my ass, which fucking took me down, like, all my health, basically. Uh, luckily, poison doesn't kill. I came within, like, two hearts, I think, uh, which was kind of shitty, but uh, that's all right. I had to rebuild my wall, having to waste a couple of my potions, which kind of sucks, but at least I'm alive. I have to be careful where the monsters are when I go to finish this up, so give me a few minutes to put everything back together, I'll be back. Seriously, where have all... <clears throat> seriously, where have all the fucking Ender IO pipes been all my Minecraft life? These things are so fucking awesome. I just love... I've, I've ranted about it before, I'm gonna rant about it probably a million times more, but I just love how all three of... all their pipes can occupy the same fucking square. That's just so good. Uh, makes things so fucking neat when you're building things like this. Uh, this is basically just gonna be it right here. Um, not a lot of impressiveness, and it's all very temporary. I'm gonna reclaim all this after I'm done. This is basically just here in order to use this for the time being, and then uh, I'm gonna take it down afterwards. So, basically this whole thing is just, uh, they're gonna bring items out during the item ducts, and they're going to bring liquid out during the liquid ducts, and they're going to bring, uh, power in from the power ducts, and it's all gonna come straight through here. I uh, got the item set to come in on the uh, into this chest right here, and I've got the liquid set to come up and over here into these tanks, which I upgraded a little bit because I was worried that there wouldn't be enough tank space uh, for liquid stuff, so that's kind of it. Um, I'm also worried that this chest might not be big enough for drops. I'm not sure how many monsters are going to spawn, so I'm going to go ahead and upgrade that chest as well in a few minutes here. I uh, don't want to don't want to overpack her, if you know what I mean, and so that'll be a thing. But everything looks pretty much good to go, so I'm going to go wait for midnight really quick here. And uh, while we're waiting on that, since I've got an Ether Star available to me, I am going to go ahead and check into a Sink Shell. Let's see how that's going to work out. Uh, shell Constructor is going to be one of these guys. Not a lot of things. I've got all this stuff except for this guy, which takes a Beacon and some Emeralds, which I've got as well. Uh, quartz. Uh, that's not hard. The Beacon itself. None of this is very hard at all. So what I'm going to do... Uh, before I die, because I'm really worried I'm going to die, is we're going to grab stuff for a beacon. So it's going to be glass and neither star and three obsidian. So let me grab out my obsidian really quick here. And um, let's grab the neither star. There we go. 
And I should have just some regular ass regular glass. That's that'll do it. And so we're gonna get in here, and there's the beacon. And then we're going to get uh, some redstone, lapis block. This is all very easy to make. Need two daylight sensors, which would be some glass and oak and wood slabs, uh, which is going to be just easy enough to make. And let's grab uh, was it a lapis block and a redstone block. Oh, I'm really low on redstone. Good God, I need to go mining soon. Uh, so there's that, and there's that. Come on. There we go. What else do we need? Quartz and emerald. So we'll toss this and this. And I need six quartz for those, for the daylight sensors. There we go. Boom. And then what else are we going to need? Two emeralds, two more quartz. Two quartz. Two emeralds, low on emeralds as well, really low on emeralds. That should get us that guy, so there's that. Uh, that's a very happy thing, I'm glad that those are going on. And then I'm going to put the rest of my cabling away because I don't need them out at the moment. And move things around a little bit in my bag, there we go. And then, so we got this guy, now we just need the shell constructor itself, which is going to be a redstone and some panes. Uh, there we go. Redstone panes are not hard to make. I'm just going to do one of these. Actually, do I have panes already? No, I do not. So there we go. And then we should be able to make the shell constructor from there. Boom! Uh, shell constructors are fucking phenomenal. I'm so happy to have this. I'm going to just stick this guy right here. I don't even give a fuck uh, where it goes. And let's dig back here a little bit. I need to bring a power cable over. There we go. So we're going to grab our power cables, string this just back right like that. Not a big deal at all. And we're going to cover that up. And I'm basically just going to plonk this guy down right there like that. And that power's coming in. Let's make sure that it's in and not doing something funny. Yep, looks like it's good. And we are going to have ourselves a clone. We just right click this guy, it'll take a little heart of damage. And it'll start making me go. That's a lot of power. Wow, look at that go. Woo! <laughs> it's worth it. Even though it's an ultimate hardcore and I'm taking a little bit of damage for that, it's still fucking worth it. Fucking worth, guys. Uh, basically, what that's going to do is if I die, I won't basically lose the whole game. Uh, I will be able to respawn. And that will be a fantastic thing. Well, I'll be able to respawn in that I will land in, the, in, my, uh, in my clone construct. Wow, that's going so fast. How much power is that using up? Not enough to drain my power reserves. I like it. Uh, still got a good bit of carrots from my farm, so that's fantastic. And look at that. Boom! I guess I could have cut the camera for that, but it went so fast. Usually it doesn't go that fast, but I got so much power coming in here. And there's a me! I got a me. So now if I die... What's going to happen is I'm not actually going to die, I'm going to zip up in the air and land in this little shell, and I'm going to take over my clone. So that's very nice. It's kind of like an extra life in Ultimate Hardcore. So I plan to make a ton of those guys in the future, but right now it's just one, just kind of kind of keep myself on an even keel. Uh, I wish I had a golden apple right now, but that's okay. And then I can make, uh, I can make as many of those as I want to, uh, by now that I've got... One shell constructor, I can make shell storage units, which is basically the same recipe, except iron instead of uh, just straight glass and a redstone. Uh, so the shell constructor, um, I need, still need one of these sink cores, so I'm going to need another star for each one of those I want to make, but uh, I can uh, at least store them. What will happen is now I can uh, I can be able to walk into the shell constructor, let's say, right next to it, and I could walk in, and I could move between my little clone guys, and they can all have their own inventories and everything. I don't know if my hearts carry over, because this is supposed to be a permanent uh, heart upgrade, my, my heart canisters. So I don't know if that will affect it or not, if those will transfer back and forth, but at least I got a life. So if I die, the worst doesn't happen. All I gotta do is make sure to keep on top of that guy every time I die. If I have to make another one, I just right-click it, take a little bit of a heart of damage. Uh, it is almost night time. I've got my division sigil ready, and I'm gonna grab out my manilin excavator, which is silky touch. Because I want to be able to 
farm up this cursed earth as it comes in for a mob farm in a little bit. Uh, last thing I'm going to do, of course, is get my power going in here. So I want to have all these guys powered. So transfer node energy. And we're just going to plonk this guy down right here. doesn't even matter where he goes. And stick that guy in there. And now we're going to see all the energy coming into these guys. See, he's filling up. Energy is going up slowly. And then this guy should be the same story here in a second. Yep, his energy is going up slowly. His idle time is running out. So that power conduit is doing its job. So now we got power in all these guys. <clears throat> and now we just got to wait for midnight. Uh, and we'll know that it's ready to go when the thing flashes here. Uh, so it says, uh, actually, if we sh if we shift right click right now, you shift right click to activate, and it tells you right there. Activation ritual. Altar has a redstone circle. Altar has a circle placed in dirt. Altar can see the moon. Altar has sufficient natural earth. But then there's two exclamation points that uh, are showing that th those conditions are not met. Altar must not be lit by outside sources, and it's too early. Sacrifice must not be must be made at midnight. What it means by the light by outside sources right now is the sun. So as soon as nighttime drops, we'll see that we won't have that condition being not met anymore. So then the light will go down and that condition will be good. And it has to be done at midnight, as it says down here, too early. And that's when the moon is directly overhead. It doesn't have to be directly on the second. It'll be like a little bit off to one side and a little bit off to the other that it will work. So as long as, and it'll start glowing like it's enchanted when we know it's ready to go. And then I can just come down here, shift, right click. And there'll be a uh, lightning bolt, mobs will spawn, the grinder should take care of them hopefully, and uh, things should go good. So I'm going to go upgrade that chest actually really quick, and I'll be back. Being out here at nighttime is some scary shit, guys. I'm not going to lie. Made a, made a golden apple so that I could uh, regen that heart that uh, the sink shell took. I thought this grinder would take care of this slime, but apparently it's not wanting to kill him. Still some scary shit. I'm still concerned. Nah, fuck you. Made a new sword because my other one got knocked back on it. Fucking sick of making shit for... Hey, zombie buddy! What's up? Yeah, brrrr. You're fucking freezing, aren't you? Um... Yeah, well. Fuck him and then... Fuck him and the nads. So yeah, let's uh, wait for midnight. Just be a few more minutes. Here we go. What? Oh, sacrifice. Oh, I forgot all about the sacrifice. God damn it. Uh, let's see if we can uh, make that happen really fast. It can be any entity, so let's grab this cow. Oh my god, I forgot about the sacrifice. Damn it! Ah! Fuck! Fucking cow instantly wandered off. God damn cow. Holy shit. There we go. That was fucking close. Alright, so now we got Cursed Earth, and now we got the, uh, monsters spawning. And it looks like the grinders are, in fact, doing their jobs. So what I need to do is just kind of lead these guys over. That's a giant fucking cat. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck was grabbing me? Oh, that's no good. I think that cat is fucking with me. That's some scary shit. Uh, well, at least we know that we got the uh, division sigil activated, so uh, activating number of charges left. Once that goes down, I can just kind of get some more charges. That cat... What the fuck is that cat all about? Oh, fuck you, spiders. I need to kill that cat off is what I need to do. The cat is not being... Oh, there's a dude with a fishing pole! Son of a bitch. Where the f Yeah, you get your ass in there and die, please. Those grinders are not doing their jobs the way that I was hoping they would. I'm gonna have to just kind of be sneaky about this. Oh, God. This is a terrible time. Apparently the curse starts spreads, too. Who knew? Uh, so... We need... Okay, I need that zombie to... That, the fucker with the fishing pole needs to die. Okay, that just needs to happen. Will you just die, please, zombie? I don't know what his deal is, why he's not coming in the corners. These grinders are kind of disappointing me now. I'm not gonna lie. They're not even working. Why are they not working? Oh, God. Oh, fucking spiders. There's guys with arrows. This is just all kinds of bad. Energy. They're idle. Oh, there's redstone signal from the fucking altar. Really? That far away? Really? Alright, let's see if we can just... 
There we go. That should, uh, hopefully let those things reactivate. Where's this? Where's the fucker with the fucking... He's right there, apparently. Alright, uh, let's get one of these ready to go. Are these running again yet? Let's see. Nope, still idle. Why are they idle? I put all kinds of prep work into doing this, and they're still idle. Alright, um... Oh, that's some shit right there. Look at that. There. Well, at least he's not running a spider anymore. Um... Ho, 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 ho. Uh, explosions galore. That's... Okay, you know what? I need... There. Fuck. Now maybe I can at least... There, there's that. Yeah. There. There's that. Fuck. God, this is annoying. I really thought that that would fucking work. The fucking grinders. I don't understand why they're not running. They got power and everything. Daytime's coming. That fucking figures. There we go. Maybe if I get these into item form, they won't, uh, they won't burn with the daylight so much. Oh, God. Let's potion that up a little bit. Oh, yep, yeah, it's burning. It's burning quick. Oh, fire! Oh, bad. Shit. Well, I got a few at least. Uh, that's something. Let's, um... Let's get in here and get what we can, I guess, guys. This cat. What's with this cat? What?! Are you shitting me?! Wither cat. Why didn't I respawn with my sink shell guy? What the hell's the deal with that? That's gotta be some kind of glitch. Hang on, let me figure that out, guys. I'll be back. Well, that was some weird-ass shit. I don't know what the hell the deal was with that. But we got everything figured out here. And it looks like my gravestone, at the very least, is still intact. Oh, those are still burning. Wow. Okay. Uh, let's get our shit out of here. Looks like the glass protected the other ones from burning, so we'll, uh... At least got something to go on there. Uh, there's an armor. Uh, I need to find my knapsack, so let's do that really quick. Oh, that's an armor. There's my knapsack. We'll throw that bad boy on. Looks like my hearts disappeared. I'll have to figure that out later, too. I don't know where those went. That's some shit. Alright, let's get our stuff back in order here. There's a chest plate. Um, put our backpacks away. What else we got over here? Uh, shit tons of potions. Get our tools jammed back in there for the time being. Uh, feet. There we go. Uh, sticks. Obsidian. I don't know why I was carrying that obsidian on me. It's a little weird. And... Let's have our sword. I don't know why I have these bones. There's a tool. There's that. I just need to get these uh, taken care of enough that I can figure out everything else here. There's my charging station. Man, just everything is all over. That's annoying as fuck, man. Uh, that can go... Actually, that needs to stay in my inventory for a few minutes. There's my repair materials that I carry. Um, do I have... There's the conduit. My spare food. Alright, that's good enough for the time being. I need to grab some of this cursed earth before it all goes away. So, we're going to do one of these, and one of these, and one of these, and one of these. So we'll just gather up as much of this shit as didn't burn as possible. Uh, there's a good bit of it that didn't burn, surprisingly enough. So I'm kind of happy about that. And I got a good bit during the nighttime as well. 
Let's put this here for the purposes of getting that guy. And that should be it except this. Nice. So we ended up with 33 Cursed Earth. Oh, and there's still some over here too. That's cute. Oh, the direct sunlight protected those ones. Okay. Good with me. Alright, so we took this place apart and we got our Cursed Earth and our activated Division Sigil. Uh, let's go make a few things with these. For anybody curious, the reason why these guys went to full idle and stopped working is because I didn't, when I replaced the chest, I didn't wrench that to input mode, which means everybody was jammed up and could no longer function. So now their idle timer is going back down and they would have kept operating. So, uh, yeah, I had that set right and then I moved, I switched chests, so that's why that didn't completely work out. Uh, so, now we know for next time. Alright, so the first thing that I want to make with the uh, Division Sigil uh, that I'm going to need is I'm going to make some of these wings. These are angel rings uh, from Extra Utilities, and they go into your baubles, which was added, I think, by Thongcraft, I want to say, but I could be wrong. Uh, you got a necklace, a couple rings, and a, I don't know what this is, maybe a trinket or something, but that could just be my wildness talking. Uh, so we can fly, basically, is what this is going with. I could make a jetpack mix with my armor, which I'm going to do eventually because the armor value is better in the jetpack version, uh, but that'll be probably next episode. Uh, angel rings are pretty easy to make. It's just going to be three gold, or I'm sorry, four gold, another star, two unstable ingots, and whatever type of uh, wings you're making. So the invisible wings are made out of glass in the top. Uh, the feathery wings are made out of feathers, and they look different. Uh, fairy wings are made out of just pink dye. Um, golden wings are just gold nuggets. But I'm going to make the dragon wings, which is two leather. So I should have a couple leather around here somewhere from killing cows. There we go. A couple leather. Uh, we're going to need four gold. One, two, three, four gold. And I'm going to get a uh, diamond, a couple diamonds, and a couple iron. And that's what's going to get us our unstable ingots with the division sigil. And what else? Uh, nether star, of course. So we'll grab one of these. There we go. And this is going to be really fucking tricky. So what I'm going to do is move some of these down a little bit to get everything ready. Uh, I just want to double check really quick. We're going to need... Uh, two leather, four gold, and the wither star. Two leather, four gold, wither star, and the two unstable ingots. So the way this is going to work out is you can't shift click these guys. These divide by diamonds. That's going to get us our unstable ingots. Is a diamond on top? No? What the fuck? It is diamond. Diamond division sigil activated iron ingot. Maybe it has to be over here like this. That's a little weird. It's showing us like this. It's shaped crafting. Activated division sigil, which I have. Maybe you can only do them one at a time? No. Iron. Diamond. Have you ever tried to divide by diamond? Of course not, because you're a sane and rational person who would never do something so fool foolhardily dangerous. However, you should experiment, experience a brief moment of instability. You can craft unstable ingots. These ingots are... Ex existentially unstable and have 10 seconds before they explode in your inventory. They also explode if you leave the crafting GUI, leave the crafting GUI, or if they are not, or if they are thrown on the floor. Do not craft unless ready. Now you're probably wondering why you should bother crafting these dangerous ingots. Well, here's what you can create with them. Unlike ingots, these tools are stable and won't explode. Just remember, you have to craft them in under 10 seconds, or else boom. I don't know why it's not working. Let's grab this crafting table. I'm going to take it somewhere else. I don't want it to explode next to any machines that might happen. We're also going to sleep this night, because I hate nighttime in hardcore. There we go. Let's craft it over here next to this wall of nothing. And it's going to be this. And it's going to be one of these. And it's going to be one of these. I cannot figure out what I'm doing wrong supposed to come up. Oh, that's right. It doesn't work with... Okay, never mind. This is a crafting, crafting station from Tinker's Construct, which can hold uh, stuff. If you put stuff in there and close the inventory, it retains its inventory. See, watch. Boink. We can open it up. It's still there. Uh, because of that, that kind of negates... It's kind of like a... It kind of gets around the uh, crafting thing. I remember that now. So because it, they can hold it there, it perpetually, like it said in the description there, it, it only works with... Uh, if, you, if you leave the table or whatever else... So because of that, you can't use that thing because it breaks it. Because it'll hold it there forever and you won't actually have the danger. So there it goes. Okay, so now what's going to have to happen is we're going to have to shift-click these off here. And then we have 10 seconds to place them on here and place the rest of the stuff on there. So here we go. 
Boom, boom. Oh, God. Oh, God. There's that. Oh, shit. Oh! Ho, 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 ho. Ah, my God. That is some scary shit, guys. Uh, that is some really... I guess I could have stood back a little bit. I think that instantly kills you. I, sh I probably should have crafted from the maximum distance like this, but I wasn't thinking clear. Oh, well. That's cool. Uh, I'm going to put this guy somewhere for this purpose. For any time I need to do unstable ingots, we're just going to do it over here. I'm just going to stick him in the... F nah. Yeah, I'll stick him in the floor right here because I don't want to trip over him all the time. And then I can kind of craft from maximum distance like that, and hopefully that'll save my ass. Probably not, but we can do that. Anyway, so now we have wings. Wings are good. Uh, we can see that they're on, and if you mouse off of it, then like you can see that you're holding it, and you mouse off, and you still have the wings. You can fly. They protect from falling damage, and all that kind of good stuff. You can even just leave it in your inventory. Now that I've actually put them on, you can see it's not on my toolbar, and I can leave it in my inventory, and they work just fine as well. Uh, but what I'm going to do for now is I'm going to go ahead and put it onto my bobbles so it's not actually in my inventory taking up space. You can click that to switch back and forth between that. And now I have wings and I can fly without having to be in wisp form, which is fantastic because I hate morphing back and forth. You have to be, can't be sleeping in shapeshift. <laughs> yeah, so that's the thing. And we can come out here. I'll just demonstrate really quick. Fly up in the air. No fall damage. It's fantastic. Uh, so, let's see how much of this stuff we got. I'm going to recover some of this stuff really quick. I can do most of that off camera, though, so no big deal on that. Uh, we can put those away. We got not quite a bucket of essence because that shit stopped working, which is kind of sad, but that's all right. Whatever. Not a huge deal. I derped on that one. That was my fault. Uh, I got a few mob drops and some of this withering dust, which I guess came from the cat. A few bones. That was just a giant waste of time. I'm kind of kind of sour about that. I'm not going to lie. That was kind of shitty that that worked out that way. So we'll put all that away. Put those away. I'm going to reclaim my pipes, guys. And then we will see what we're doing. All right. It turns out that we're pretty much out of time, guys. So for once, I actually managed to land within the 30-minute mark. I did make a shell constructor over there, um, which is... Uh, the, or not a, not a constructor, sorry. I made a shell storage unit, which should allow me to actually store... Oh, my guy. So if I do one of these, he needs a redstone signal to activate. And if I walk in, uh, yep, so I've got up above, see, overworld 5, 67, 42, 23. I can move up, and I can click him if I want to switch to him. And I saw that I actually still have my wings on there, so apparently your bobbles carry over. I don't know if your hearts do or not. Um, but I didn't want to get stuck in that because you can't then walk into this guy, I don't think, because that's the constructor. Uh, so I need to make another one, but I'm out of emeralds. So I got to go find some emeralds, which I'll do between camera takes, uh, between this episode and next, and we'll see if I can rectify that glitch. Because I was able, after fucking with the computer, fucking with the uh, with the interface a little bit, uh, fucking at the end there, but after it said delete world, I exited the game, came back in, allowed me to respawn. So um, I don't know what that glitch was about. It's possible that it was just some weird hardcore glitch. Uh, maybe if I have a constructor, it won't happen next time. We'll have to see. But anyway, that's going to do it for this episode. Hope everybody had an OP time. Make sure to like, favorite, follow, subscribe, hitbox, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, slash RobbieOpenGamer. Peace.